What's up you guys, Keaton Mello here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna look at the pilot compensation at Air Transat. We're first gonna look at the fleet, the route map, and then the pilot compensation between the captain and first officer. Stay tuned. Air Transat is Canada's third largest airline based out of Montreal, Quebec. The first biggest being Air Canada and the second biggest being WestJet. The fleet consists of two different types of aircraft. They used to have a third one, the 737, but they got rid of it a few years ago. So now they focus on an all Airbus fleet. They have the Airbus 321 as well as the Airbus 330. When you look at the route map at Air Transat, even though it's a Canadian airline, you'll notice there's hardly any destinations in Canada or the United States. The majority of the focus, as evident by the route structure as well as the bookings page, is concentrated in Mexico the Caribbean and Europe. Even till this day, it looks like the goal of Air Transat is to be more of a leisure airline versus a domestic airline. And since we're in the topic of routes, Air Transat recently started the service known as Connect Air, where they've partnered with other airlines such as Avianca and EasyJet to bring their passengers to more destinations than they previously could have before on their own routes. So a passenger would book a flight on Air Transat and then seamlessly have their baggages sent to the other airlines to the other destination. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's look at the pilot salary at Air Transat. The salary is actually broken down into several groups. A wide body captain salary starts at year one at $172,166, year two $178,877, year three $185,597, and goes all the way to year 11 at $237,283. When it comes to the wide body salary in Canada, that's actually not so bad, but it's nowhere close to the salary you'll experience at a big airline like Air Canada as the wide body captain. Now, a wide body first officer salary starts in year one at $60,806, year two $72,336, year three $85,949, and all the way in year 11 at $146,198. For a wide body first officer salary, that's on par for how you would experience at a company such as Air Canada. A narrow body captain in year one earns $148,406, year two $153,437, year three $158,419 and all the way in year 12 at $208,406. And that narrow body captain salary is actually still on par to what you can experience at other major airlines in Canada. And finally, the narrow body first officer salary in year one is $60,806, year two, $72,336, year three, $84,182, and all the way in year 10 at $116,477. And again, this narrow body salary as a first officer is also on par to what you can see at other major airlines in Canada. You really don't start to make any decent money until you've been in the company for a minimum of five years. And that's exactly common to most airlines in Canada, unfortunately. You have to be in the company for a minimum of five years in order to actually cross the six-figure mark. Now, before we go, there's other things you need to take into consideration besides the actual base pay. You want to look at things such as where you're going to live, your benefits, your health benefits, flying benefits, dental benefits, the amount of days worked, your vacation days. Those are all important things to ensure that you have a good quality of life. And finally, and that's important to a lot of people, is your retirement benefits. Does the company provide you any sort of matching towards your retirement? What kind of benefits can you receive once you do retire? All those things you need to take in consideration before you make your decision. So there you have it, another pilot salary video. I personally think Air Transat is a pretty great airline. I have a lot of friends that actually work at the company and they seem to really like it. And no, French is not mandatory to work there, but it does help if you know a little bit of French to actually converse with your coworkers. I personally know a lot of French and it's getting better every single year, but it's not mandatory to know French to be a pilot in Canada. As always, if you like this type of video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment below any future video topics, and I'll see you next time. Take care.